Hello, Creative Gems. Welcome to Creativity. I'm Sandy, and I'm so happy that you're here with me. Today, I'm going to show you how to make two beautiful table decor pieces using dollar store materials. The first piece will be a crystal encrusted mirror that you can display on your bookshelf, buffet table, or on the wall. The second piece will be a glam decorative pedestal bowl. Both pieces look so exquisite, but no one would guess that it only cost a few dollars to make. I will list out all the materials, and if you would like, you can also visit my blog site at creativity.com for all the details. If you enjoy glam home decor and DIY crafts on a budget, I would also love it if you would support my channel by hitting the subscribe button so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. To begin, I will show you the materials. All the materials are from Dollar Tree unless otherwise stated. For our first decor piece, we will need a medium-sized round mirror. Mine is from Dollar Tree and is 9.625 inches. We will also need a silver charger plate, three packs of silver plastic spoons, and some loose flat back clear round acrylic gems. My gems are from Hobby Lobby. We will also need a string of silver beaded necklace. And as per many of my DIY projects, we will also need our handy dandy hot glue gun. My glue gun was purchased from Amazon. To begin, take the silver plastic spoons and break off the round part from the arm part. Set the arm parts aside for a future project, as we will only be using the round part of the spoons for this project. We will need a total of 62 spoons, which works out to just under 3 packs, since Dollar Tree sells them 24 in a pack. Once you have 62 round parts of the spoon broken out, start embellishing each with some of the loose flat back acrylic gems. For my spoons, I am applying three medium gems down the center and two smaller gems on either side. Each of the gems should be glued to the convex part of the spoon with some hot glue. Once you have finished embellishing the spoons, before setting them onto the plate with hot glue, you can place a few onto the charger plate to see the design and positioning the spoons you prefer. You should also remove the frame from the round mirror and adhere it to the center of the charger plate. Around the mirror, add a string of silver beaded necklace. Once done, your charger plate should look something like this. Look how the gems sparkle. It looks absolutely stunning. Comment down below and let me know if you would hang this on the wall or if you prefer to place it on a picture easel and set it on a table.
For our second decor piece, we will need one clear plastic bowl. The one I will be using is a long banana shaped bowl with a scallop design on the edge of the bowl. You can choose a perfectly round bowl if you prefer. We will also need a small silver plastic bowl. The one I'm using comes in a set of four and has a mirror-like finish. We will also need a silver metallic dinner placemat. The one I found has a mosaic-like design. On one side it is silver metallic and on the other it is white. We will also need some clear gem stickers and some tacky glue. This one I found comes out white but dries clear. To begin, I have cut the dinner place mat into a few pieces. Before you start gluing down the pieces, place one onto the bowl to see how it fits. If necessary, trim down the piece first before applying glue to it. Once the first piece is glued down, inspect it to see if there are any pieces that still need to be trimmed off. Then proceed to the next piece. You will see here that I have chosen to place my second piece on the opposing side from the first piece. That would take care of the majority of the surface area of the bowl. For the remaining parts of the bowl, you will need to cut to size the additional pieces of the placemat and, and continue to glue them down to the bowl until the entire bowl is covered by pieces of the placemat.
As you can see here, I am leaving the bottom of the bowl exposed. I'll show you in a minute why. Our next step is to use some hot glue to adhere the small silver bowl to the bottom center of the larger bowl. This will give the bowl a bit of height. Then we place a string of silver beaded necklace all around the neck where the two bowls meet as well as at the rim of the larger bowl. As a final touch, stick a row of gem stickers on each side of the small silver bowl, towards the edge of the bowl opening.
And here is the final look for our decorative pedestal bowl. I have chosen to fill my bowl with some decorative balls and it looks absolutely beautiful by the crystal mirror we just made. And speaking of decorative bowl fillers, stay tuned as one of my upcoming videos will feature how to make several different bowl fillers that will glam up your space. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share with other creative gems. Also, remember to hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I upload another DIY glam project. I hope to see you all soon!